When then Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark went to Russia in 2015, a group founded by an accused covert Russian agent paid for his expenses. Our political reporter Theo Keith in the newsroom now. And Theo, you follow the paper trail here. Yeah, Steph, the feds accused Maria Butina of trying to infiltrate the National Rifle Association and other groups. Clark was in Russia as part of an NRA delegation. This video shows then Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark touring a firearms factory in Moscow. He test fires a gun nice. and even gets a gift. Thank you. It was December 2015. Clark was part of a delegation from the National Rifle Association. The deputy CEO of Orsis, a Russian firearms company, posted video of this part of the trip on YouTube. At one point, a woman who appears to be Maria Butina is sitting right behind Clark. The two are also in this group photo Butina posted online. Clark's 2016 Milwaukee County Disclosure Form shows a group Butina founded paid $6,000 for Clark's expenses on the six-day trip. Butina is now charged with being a covert Russian agent. In a criminal complaint, the Justice Department says her job was to identify and exploit personal connections with U.S. persons having influence in American politics. The complaint does not name any Americans. Butina's group, the Right to Bear Arms, covered $1,200 for Clark's meals, $3,000 for the sheriff's hotel, one grand for his transportation in Russia, and 800 bucks for something called excursions. The NRA paid more than $13,000 to bring Clark to Russia. We called and emailed the former sheriff, who now lives near Washington, D.C., for comment. Thank you for calling the AC Enterprises, and sorry we missed your call. As we've reported, Governor Scott Walker also met Butina. That was during an event in Tennessee during the run-up to Walker's presidential launch event in 2015, which Butina also attended. Walker's campaign says Butina got a photo with the governor, but that's as far as the interaction went. Live in the newsroom, Theo Keith, Fox 6 News. All right, Theo, thank you for that. We have an update on that semi-crash.